Hello YouTube, my name is Phantom and welcome to Madden Madness. This is the tournament that gives every team a chance. If you haven't watched, here is the bracket thus far. Today we have the San Francisco 49ers taking on the Arizona Cardinals. The winner moves on and the loser goes home. We're at a neutral stadium at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia. Who do you think is going to win? Let us know in the comments below and like the video and subscribe for more. Without further ado, here we go. Arizona will kick it away to start off. Balls away. And we're going. Kendrick Bourne takes a knee in the end zone. Touchback. Out comes Jimmy Garoppolo, who as of today it is the highest paid quarterback in NFL history and that and he's really the first big domino that's gonna set the pay grade for all these other big free agent quarterbacks so see what happens in the offseason Garoppolo comes out in the eye formation. Simple handoff to Carlos Hyde. Hyde. Gain of only five. Second and five coming up. Most of these guys are pretty much unknown unless you're a diehard 49ers fan. But they did close out the season last year as the hottest team. So... Let's see what they can do next year. A lot of 49ers fans are excited, I'm sure. It's coming out in another running formation. They're going to play action fake. Garoppolo to Selleck. Gain, short gain of three yards. And Cardinals... Probably their biggest asset right now is their defense. Carlos Dansby. Tyron Matthew, Tyvon Branch, Tremont Williams, and they didn't say it there, but Patrick Peterson, who was in the Pro Bowl this year, year and had a pretty big game. <clears throat> Garoppolo comes out. Garoppolo, caught by Robinson, big gain, 13 yards on the reception, out to the 46. First and ten near midfield as they will break the huddle. Stepping up to the line. Single back formation. Garoppolo fakes the handoff. Throws. Caught by Taylor. Another first down. Down into uh, Arizona territory at the 40-yard line. No pressure. He has all day. If you, if you give Garoppolo, it doesn't matter who's in the backfield. If you give the quarterback that much time, they're going to find their targets. Expect, at least in the NFL. Single back set coming up. Hand off to Hyde, and he's going to go nowhere. Stop the line, gain of nothing. It's 
second and ten coming up. Going to break huddle. Snaps the ball with two seconds left on the play clock. Garoppolo scrambles, throws, and he appears he dropped it. It's going to be third and ten. First third down for the Cardinals in this game. Kendrick Bourne from Eastern Washington lining up at the line. Garoppolo fakes it. Back pedals, throws. Caught by Kendrick Bourne, another big gain. Down to the 17 yard line. 23 yard reception. Throws it on his or throws it on the run as well. Good job. By him, just find some time. Lining up with the receiver and just firing without a second thought. Shanahan's excited. <laughs> Coming out in the eye. Hand off to Hyde. Nothing once again, swallowed up at the line, gain of zero. Second and ten, coming up. Halfback base to hide, gain of only four. Better than the past or the past two plays. Out to the 13, third and six coming up. One for one so far on third down. Garoppolo is going to throw. Scrambles, throws, touchdown. First touchdown thrown in Mad Madness. Catches it right at the line and then turns around and runs back in. Marquise Goodwin. Point is up and good. And San Francisco is sitting pretty. That's a perfect drive. Start off the game. Caught by Patrick Peterson in the end zone, runs it out, and is dropped at the 22. That's where Arizona's going to start their drive. And Palmer's going to come out. And that's one of the good things about Madden Madness is you're going <coughs> to get to see those QBs that didn't get to play much this year. You've been on IR. Also, he retired at the end of the year, so this is 
Kind of like his last performance, if you want to believe that. These two receivers bunched on the right, running formation otherwise. They're going to fake the handoff. Palmer caught by Graham. Gain, gain of about 11 or 12, 13 yards on the pickup. And it's a first down. Good play call there. You're expecting a run to start off the game. But here comes the play action fake. Good play call. Results in a first down. And eight seconds left on the play clock as they'll get ready to snap this one. Peterson. Oh, Adrian Peterson. <laughs> Two Petersons are on the Cardinals. And that's going to do it for the first quarter. That's going to do it. 7-0. And the first. And we're back. 7-0. Running formation. Single back set. Pre-snap motion. They're going to run it left with Peterson. Gain of about one for the old man. They're still going to read it as a third and seven, though. Third and seven coming up. This will be their first first down, or their first third down of the game. And they're going to come out in the shotgun. They're sending the pressure. Sacked. Carradine with the sack. He just came in unblocked. Palmer didn't see the blitz coming, didn't adjust, and he paid for it. And now they're going to punt. After going down 7-0 and then getting a the first down, now they got a punt. And San Francisco is going to have a chance to extend their lead. Lee bunts it away. Taylor catches it, runs it up. He's got some daylight. Spins the defender, and he's down at the 31. Pretty good return as the San Francisco 49ers will come out to do some more damage. They got a touchdown on the last drive. Here comes the 49ers. They're going to hand it off to Hyde left. And nothing again. He's at five rushes for nine yards. And I know they're sitting pretty, but and those runs do serve a purpose. But maybe they should try going through the air a little bit more. Jumbo set. Fakes the handoff and Garoppolo is sacked. 
He's brought down at the 23, and it's going to be a third and 19 coming up. That's surprising considering they only had they had ever they had eight linemen on the field. And that's the problem with play action fakes is if your running game doesn't work, no one's going to buy it. And then you're in big trouble. In this case, two defenders didn't buy it and sprinted right at him. So third and 19 coming up. They're one for two right now, trying to make it two for three. Garoppolo rolls to the left, throws it deep downfield. He's got a man. It's Godwin again. Good win. All the way down for a touchdown. 14. It's going to be 14 0. So catches the last TD, and now he's got another. What an excellent ball by Garoppolo, too. Good job by Goodwin blowing out the defender. And he's just gone. When you're in that spring situation, that's a dream for a quarterback. And just like that, it's 13 nothing. Beathard holds the kick as it's through the end zone by Gould. 14 nothing. Three plays, 68 yards, a minute and a half. That's a pretty good pass to throw. One for one, 77 yards for a touchdown. Pretty good little series. Let's see if Arizona can answer. This game's already getting out of whack. And I do believe that the 49ers will get ball at half, too, so Arizona absolutely has to score here. Kick is away. Matthew's going to run it out. Down at the 22. Here comes Carson Palmer trying to avoid that, taking another big sack. And the other thing that's interesting about that is uh, Arizona is supposed to be a really good defense. Not really good, but top 15 or so. Gives up a big, giant touchdown on that last play. Palmer's going to fake it. Throws. Caught on the sideline. He's out of bounds at the 40. First down. And that's what they really need to get this going. And it's hard to tell if the feet are in bounds. But the call on the field will stand, at least from that angle. Clock still moving. Palmer has one back. He's going to hand it off to Adrian Peterson, and Peterson gets walloped. Momentum is stopped, and he's on his butt. Only a gain of one. And now they're behind the chains again. Let's see if they can overcome. Going to break huddle now with under 10 seconds left on the play clock. Palmer's going to throw. Same sideline, nearly picked off. No, just not a good pass. Double coverage. I don't know what he was thinking there. <laughs> I know when you're down like this, you want to get get to your playmakers. Now it's Fitzgerald on that. But 
Not when he's double covered with the safety screaming over. All right, let's see if they can convert. Third and nine coming up. They're 0 for 1 right now. Palmer avoids the sack for a second. He's going to get dropped at the line again. Gain of nothing, essentially. And that'll take it down to the two minute warning, likely, as the Cardinals will punt. And that sets them in really bad shape for the rest of this game. If they can get a quick stop and get the ball back and score, that's pretty much the only way that <laughs> they're going to keep things at least close. And here comes the two minute warning. We'll be back. 14 0. And we're back, 14-0, Niners. Arizona will punt. Lee's going to boot it. And it's going to sail into the end zone for a touchback. Nothing's going right for Arizona right now. Everything's going right for Garoppolo. 6-7, 143, and two touchdowns. That's pretty good for a half. But they're going to try and add even more to the lead. Let's see if they can. They're going to break huddle. Single back set. Garoppolo's going to do the draw. Hyde's blown up in the backfield for a loss of yardage. It's a loss of two. As second and 12 is going to come up. And that's exactly what Arizona needs right now. If they can stop them, get the ball back for the offense, and then the offense can even just get a field goal. Just something. Can't go into half with the zero. That looks really bad. Garoppolo's going to throw. Caught by Goodwin again. Big gain. Out to the 39. Goodwin's having a heck of a game. And San Francisco's going to take the timeout and conserve the clock. Well, we'll be back. Welcome back. It's 14 to 0. San Fran has the ball. And they're still on their own territory, but if they have another play like the one they just had, they'll definitely be in field goal range. Let's see what they can do. They're struggling to run the ball, but through the air is where they're doing their damage. Garoppolo's at 20 yards per attempt. Four receivers, he's probably going to throw. And he will. He throws it. That's the running back hide. Jukes the defender. He's got another first down at the 50-yard line. San Fran's going to take a, their second timeout.
All right, they're going to break huddle. San Fran only has one timeout now, so they're going to have to spike, hurry up and spike it if they complete this throw. Garoppolo scrambling, throws, throws it away. He might have panicked a little bit too hard on that. But that's all right. Clock is still stopped since he threw it away. Second and ten coming up. And they're in a situation right now where they'll probably throw it the rest of the half. Grapple's going to throw. Hits Selleck with the pass. Short gain. Clock, clock running. Third and six coming up. They're one for four right now. Or no, they're one for three. Fake for Garoppolo, and he's knocked down. Right as the ball leaves his hands, it's an incomplete pass. Fourth and six coming up. And I think that's what he was afraid of last on the last play. And now if you're San Francisco, you're probably just trying to avoid a kick a punt return for a touchdown. And that's what they're going to do. They're going to kick it out of bounds. It's a good kick out at the 17. Carlos Dansby is pretty happy. Out comes Fitzgerald and Palmer and crew. And we'll see if they'll just take a knee and head to the lockers. Palmer hands it off to Peterson. And that's just going to take us to the half. Fourteen to zero, we're at half. And we're going to skip the half and get right to the third quarter. Fourteen zero. Start of the third. going to be a touchback. Oh, so it is Arizona's ball. Arizona's going to come out and see if they can stop the bleeding. Maybe get on onto the board after being shut out for the first half. Fitzgerald is one-on-one, -on -one, but they're going to hand it off to Peterson. Gain of four. That's the most productive run of the day for Peterson. Just a four-yard gain. They're going to break huddle, second and six, coming up. Hand it off to Peterson. He's got a little bit of a hole. Just kidding. Only got a gain, of t or he lost two yards. It's going to be a third and eight coming up. And the Cardinals have not converted a third down yet. All game long. And that's really what's killing them. They can't move the ball. That's not the first time Peterson's gotten walloped.
Palmer. He, what a move. Mitchell gets a sack with one arm. That's impressive. Fourth and 14 coming up for the cards. Yeah, let's see this again. Takes the handoff. Mitchell isn't sold. And yeah, that might have been a face mask, honestly. I'm surprised that wasn't called. Anyways, it's going to be a boot by Lee. His third of the game. It's a good kick. And he's going to bring it up to the 33. Goodwin's taken this game over so far. Two touchdowns. That one was crazy. That was a third and 14, I believe. Here comes Garoppolo. Fires one incomplete over the middle. I believe he was trying to get Goodwin again, which I completely understand that. Arizona's only got 24 yards to San Fran's 177, but it's a second and 10 coming up. They're going to hand it to Hyde. And it's a gain of three. It's going to be third and seven coming up. Cardinals, or 49ers are about two for four on third down. Garoppolo throws. It's Selleck. First down at the 50-yard line. His third reception of the day for 21 yards. That could have been a huge gainer if um, number 81 there would have blocked. But as it is, it's a... F it's going to... Get him up to the 50. Bunch set. They're going to hand it off to Hyde. He's got a hole. Carlos Hyde out to the 34. Eight attempts for 25 yards. That's his biggest run of the game so far. And when he gets to the mid-late part of the game... Running game really helps to chew up that clock. And now they're in field goal range as well. Arizona needs to stop them here. And really they need a big sack to bring them out of field goal range. Let's see if San Fran will let them. Selleck in motion. It's a play-action fake. Garoppolo fires wide open Robinson. They're going to move it to the 20, and the clock's going to continue to grind. Garoppolo's at two touchdowns and 208 yards. He's earning his money right now.
Looks like they're going to run it here. And, and they will. It's Hyde. Hyde's got a gain of five. It's going to be second and five coming up. If Arizona gives up a touchdown here, it's going to look really bad for them. Might be talking shutout. Looks like they're in a running formation. Cardinals are blitzing. Blitzing's held up. And he misfires. Overthrows it. Or perhaps that was throwing it away. Who would know? Here comes a third and five. Garoppolo tries to hit Goodwin, but it's a drop. He drops it. If you're a San Fran fan, that's that's got to be heart wrenching to watch. He catches that in stride. That's a touchdown. You're up three touchdowns going into the fourth. It's pretty much game at that point. Unless there's going to be a Patriots style comeback. Niners will kick the field goal. Bethard holds. It's good. 17 nothing. So after that close game between the Panthers and the Saints. Now we got a blow it on our hand on our hands it seems. Niners get ready to kick it away. One minute left in the third. Peterson catches it. He's going to run it out anyway. And it's down at the 23. So a net loss of two yards on the decision. And out comes Palmer. That's obviously not Palmer, but he's with them. <laughs> if Arizona wants to lead this 17-point comeback, they need to score, and they need to score quickly. They got about nine minutes, no, eight minutes. So they got to score three times in eight minutes. Not easy. Peterson blown up in the back in the backfield down, he's down for a loss of one second and 11 coming up We'll see what they come out in. They're coming out in a throwing formation, it seems, but they will hand it off to Peterson. And Peterson's, he's gone. They finally get him down at about the 46, and that's exactly what Arizona needed. Just a simple run to the right halfback stretch and the defense just couldn't get there. I was very <laughs> quite courageous for them to call a running play like that after the previous one got blown up. And they're going to bunch left. Wide receivers are going to bunch left for the most part and that's going to end the quarter. They will not get the playoff. 
So as it stands now, it's 17-0. End of the third. We'll be back. And we're back, 17-0. Niners. Our bunch to the left. Palmer is going to throw over the head of Fitzgerald. Palmer's only thrown four times. Well, part of the reason for that is the fact that they just can't get a third down conversion. They have not got a third down conversion in this game. Second and long. They're behind the chains yet again. After the first down of completion, Palmer takes the check down, but it's out of bounds and complete. Oh, they did roll him complete. Third and nine coming up. Let's see if they can actually get a first down. They're 0 for 3 so far. Palmer's in a balanced formation. Palmer's going to take the ball. He's going to throw. Wide open Brown, their first third down conversion of the game. And that's just because San Fran sat out in a zone. Can't give a veteran quarterback like that that much time with his own. Otherwise, he's just going to pick you apart. Under six to play now as Palmer comes out in the shotgun. Five receivers. Palmer throws. Fitzgerald gets it near the goal line. Eight yards from it, actually. First and goal coming up. And now Arizona's moving. He just throws it over the middle right there. Just a simple slant, it, is, it appears. And it seems like San Fran's just playing that conservative defense, sitting deep and trying not to give up anything cheap and easy, but they're cutting them apart underneath. Palmer's going to rush to the line to get another playoff. He's going to flip the run, it appears. And he will run it with Peterson. Peterson! Just short, right at the one, just inches from the goal line. It would really behoove them. Ooh, he almost he could have fumbled right there. But it would really behoove them to get this touchdown here. Cannot settle for three, need a touchdown, and they need it quickly. Second and goal. And touchdown. Touchdown, Peterson. Just a simple run at the gut, and the, the defender thought that he was going through another hole, but he was going through one right next door, and it's wide open for the touchdown. Just walks it in. So at least it's not going to be a shutout. 17 to 7. All right. Now we got a ball game. Now if Arizona wants to come back, they really need to get a three and out here. Three and out. 
probably would run off. Probably bring it down to about three minutes. Assuming there's an incompletion in there. And... But first they need to make sure they don't give up a touchdown on this kickoff. They will not run it out. Caught in the end zone. Takes the knee for a touchback. Goodwin's having a heck of a day. Three receptions, two touchdowns, 111 yards. He did have that one drop, but that'll be long forgotten when somebody looks at that stat sheet. San Fran cannot get too conservative here. They need to figure out a way to get through this blitz that's inevitably going to be presented. And it looks like they will run it though. No. Play action. Good play call. Just missed throw. He did have half a step. Garoppolo disappointed with himself. And that does stop the clock. It's a balanced formation. Garoppolo's going to throw again. Dumps it off to Hyde over the middle. Third and two coming up. And that's exactly what San Fran needed. Because if they had an incompletion or a short run, and they're in third and long, but now the playbook's wide open. A run can get it, a screen can get it, quick pass. Wouldn't go for the deep ball, but... Alright, this could possibly be the game. Niners are 3 for 4. Hyde's got the first and more. Down at the 47, and that might just do it. Just a simple run up the gut. And that'll work late in the game when the defense is tired. Arizona's got to pray for a miracle here because otherwise they're out. Wide open hole, and it shuts immediately. Gain of only two on the play. Second and eight coming up. They will have to run one more play before the two-minute warning. Looks like they're going to run it again. Comes out in a running formation. They will run it with Hyde. Gain of nothing. Third and six coming up. That'll take us to the two minute warning and we'll be back to see if they can stop them after this. And we're back for that third down. Niners have the lead 17-7. Arizona needs a turnover here. Come on out in a running formation, but they will throw over the middle. Incomplete. Clock stops. I really don't understand that play call. That reminds me of that third down call for a pass in the Super Bowl a couple years ago. Coincidentally, or maybe not, the head coach of the 49ers was the also the, uh, the caller for the Atlanta Falcons that made that same call. Pinion's going to boot it out of bounds. And it's the equivalent to a touchback. It's just going to sail out at the 20. 
Arizona, their last gasp. They need to score without using any timeouts here to have any chance of winning this one. Coming out in a balanced formation. Palmer takes the snap. Fires over the middle. He's got Brown. Ball is loose. And it, they recover their own fumble. Just diverted a disaster right there. Palmer's going to hurry up and throw. Throws it to the left. Caught, but out of bounds. Second and ten coming up. Palmer's going to throw, steps back, throws right before he's hit, ball is caught, gain of five, up to the 36, 35 coming up. They're one for four thus far. Their first con third down conversion did come on that touchdown scoring drive. Balance formation. Palmer's going to throw. Steps up a little bit. Fires over the middle. He's got Brown. Big gain. They're into San Francisco territory at the 42. They're going to hurry up and see if they can spike the ball and serve their timeouts, or they're going to hurry up and run a play. Palmer's going to step back, get ready to throw. He throws. Caught again by Brown. And he's down at the 20. They're marching now. They're going to sprint up to the line to either spike it or get another playoff, and they'll get another playoff. Palmer throws. Throws as he, just after he releases it. I think the pressure got to him that time. It's incomplete. Second down. Clock stops. Balanced formation. Palmer's going to throw. Back steps. Just misses his target outside the end zone. He was pressured that time again. Third and ten coming up. They're two for five on third down. But they don't want to just get a first down. They want to get a touchdown. See what happens here. Balance formation, Palmer. Throws and it's caught. Steps out of bounds at the three yard line. Clock stops, 42 seconds left. First and goal coming up. No challenges inside of two minutes. Otherwise, I, if I was San Fran, I'd challenge that. It's going to be just over three yards to the goal line as they come out. Oh, center was supposed to snap, but he didn't. And that's killer. That is absolutely killer. So now it's first and goal from the eight. And that difference in that five yards, you say you're going to throw it anyway. What makes it hard is that ball's going to be traveling in the air for a longer amount of time. And when it's that compact on this side of the field, that extra half a second. That could result in an interception. It's Palmer. Misses his target. Good thing he missed it too far right. Otherwise, that would have been intercepted. 
clock does stop. Second and goal coming up. Balance formation. Palmer's going to get him off sides. And that's going to get him a little bit closer. So that almost makes it even between the false start and the neutral zone infraction. Not quite, though, because of the math. But the clock is still stopped. Oh, we got another false start. Just really bad pre-snaps right now. It's a mess. And now they're farther back than they originally were. You got to go nine yards now instead of eight or even three. So their distance, has, they've gone backwards. They're three times as far away from the goal line as they were at the beginning of the second down. Let's see. They got a man beater on the right. Palmer. And they're going to say it was incomplete. Didn't get both feet down. It's going to be third down. Clock is still stopped. Now they're obviously in four down territory, so. But they don't want to spend a timeout. And they don't want to waste time getting up to snap it, so really they're going to be trying to get it in the end zone. Palmer. And nearly picked. Fourth and goal coming up. They are now two for seven on third down. In comparison, the 49ers are three for six. And they're going to settle for the field goal. You got to get one of them, I suppose. Might as well get this one. That way your prize is a little bit more intact. It's a, it seems a little bit closer than it actually is. And now here comes the onside kick, I assume. I never really understood why teams go for the onside kick in this situation when they have full timeouts. You might as well just kick it down the field. You don't need to kick it all the way into the end zone, but because onside kicks rarely work. Here comes the onside kick. 49ers have their team, hands team out there. Oh, that was a close one. Whew. The ball, the ball ricochets off of one, off of the 49er. Hits the Arizona in the chest. And then luckily it bounces back to the 49er who catches it. Whew. And Garoppolo is really torn it up. 12 for 20. Those are some good stats. Those will get you a win in the NFL. Against, especially against a supposedly really good defense. Top 15. I should say. They're going to come out in the eye. They're probably just going to pound it three times. And hopefully they get the first down. If not, it will. And that's a good little gainer, five yards. Arians is not happy. It's going to be second and six after this timeout. Hey, 
17 to 10. Arizona's last gasp. If they can get a three and out here. Otherwise, the game is over. And Arizona will be the second team eliminated from Madden Madness. As it stands, here is the bracket right now. And let me take that off as we come to the second and six. They're going to hand it off to Hyde. And I'm not sure. Did he get there? They, they say he didn't. Third and inches coming up. And there's a timeout taken by Arizona. Honestly, if Arizona gets this ball, it's basically going to be Hail Mary time. But 49ers are going forward on third down. They were three for six, I believe. Just about, yes. This is their seventh attempt. The only other team that's advanced so far is the Panthers, who beat the Saints in a close game. Came down to the last play. Let's see if this one can come down to the last place, technically. Oh, he's going to throw it. Garoppolo. He's going to scramble. He's got the first and a little bit more. That's going to do it. Arizona calls the timeout, but really, the only effect of that timeout is... Just absorb the fact that you lost before you have to go out and shake the other man's hand. And then they're just going to come out and kneel it. Alright, that's it. 49ers will advance. We'll show you the bracket now. Alright. That's the bracket as it currently stands. And there we go. That's the right one. Niners will take on the winner of the Rams and Seahawks next round. So that's going to do it. Just see the, these last little stats. Cardinals were able to come close, but not quite enough. It was a blowout for most of the game. They do deserve some props for at least making it semi-interesting. And that's it. Cardinals will be eliminated. They finish with one touchdown. Two for seven on third down. No turnovers. Alright, subscribe for more if you want to see more, leave a like if you enjoyed the game, and tune in next time. This is Phantom saying 